Okay, we have our 64-bit version of Windows 7 running on our test system. And right now I want to show uh, the three things that I uh, initially built this test system for. So, let's go down here to the toolbar. I'll right-click on it. There we go. And now I want to go over to performance. And should we see our, our four separate CPUs in here? And uh, these are the four separate cores. And we're going to be able to associate programs. So I'll actually be able to tell different programs how to actually run on that. So uh, we'll get to that here shortly. But uh, I did want to show you the uh, four different cores that are actually running here. So let's go ahead and we're going we're gonna to utilize those here. So I'll go down to the start button. Let's go to all programs. Let's go to Windows Virtual PC. Uh, this is a a um, an add-in for uh, Windows 7. It's the uh, Virtual PC. Uh, they had different, several different versions, 2004, 2007. They built it a version for uh, XP or 7 called Windows Virtual PC. This one also has the Virtual XP inside. Uh, this is the module you can actually download. Let's go ahead and start this up. Um, this is something I'm uh, quite interested in um, because you're supposed to be able to install programs and be able to run either or. Uh, you know, if it doesn't run under 7, you're supposed to be able to use that installation to actually run it inside of. Uh, XP. As you can see, she came right real nice and pretty, beautiful. Um, one thing I did notice, I've actually opened this up and uh, see if we can how it looks when we go to full screen. Now, uh, it I did notice that the only thing we have up here is this top toolbar, and this is uh, quite sweet and. Uh, you can actually assign USB buttons or drives. So this is something I definitely am going to look into um, quite uh, quite a bit different. What I'm going to also do is I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also install alongside this virtual machine, which Microsoft so graciously is allowing. Me specific uh, users of specific versions of 7, the higher end versions to actually download. So I'm going to actually uh, take a version of Windows XP, just a straight OEM version, and create a uh, virtual machine alongside of this one. And uh, we'll see you know, what the differences are and uh, you know, if, if you know, the advantages are there or not. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and we're going to shut this baby down. And we'll come back to that at another time here. Another thing I wanted to do was actually show you I'm getting ready to install applications. What I did was, I'm actually looking for applications specific to the 64-bit platform. We've got AutoCAD here, I've got Revit here, I believe over here in... I think I uh, put it over here on my system. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I put it in the download directory here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's 
it's going to be an awfully large one. I know I have it out here someplace. So I actually got a 64-bit version of Photoshop too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install all of these, and we'll take the take a look at it. Um, I'll give you a little uh, hip tip. Photoshop actually installs two different versions. Uh, one's the 64-bit version, and one's the 32-bit version. And you can actually run the 32-bit bit version on 64 bit so there's some differences in, in the way the applications actually run too so uh, until then I will keep writing